Hello, all my fellow Avengers. This is this old man place, aka Kakashi Six One Four Zero. I'm here today to show you how you can level up super fast with the new Wakanda DLC. Uh, get your power level up as fast as you can, and a bur uh, great place for you to actually grind and get unlimited resources. So let's jump into that right away. So as you can see, I just finished my Cape Bishop right now. And I'm gonna move on my Hawkeye, my Hawkeye, and my um, Black Panther is the only one left. I need to power up for power level. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, I ran all of the Vibranium missions, um, and I find that the fastest one and the best place to go to is this one right here in Eastern Seaboard. Um, go to Corrupt Vibranium, and we're back. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I do this one. It's because, first of all, it's very easy. You only have to do really one encounter. Um, and the second one is that it only takes about six to seven minutes, depending on, you know, if you have a lot of AoEs or not, to actually run through the whole thing, grab all the things that you need, and then just get out of there. Um, you don't have to complete the mission itself. You just have to grab all the items and gear, and then just leave. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and check it out. And I'm going to show you exactly what route to take. And uh, what you do. And uh, and then we're going to go ahead and show you how you can repeat it. Now, this is going to net you a lot of resources. And when I mean a lot of resources, I mean upgrade resources. Especially the upgrade modules. Whenever you go ahead and this and, um, you know, you break these items down, there's a chance of you getting an uh, upgrade module course um, the higher level you get the more upgrade modules you get and uh, it's almost guaranteed actually um, so what you want to do is you want to break all these down and like that you're not going to use so later on you're going to get a lot of these gear and you're going to see that all these items I'm getting from from all here this is all from me farming except for you know the polychar and you, you don't get and you get a lot of rules too so let's go let's see when this game will load in, we'll go and jump in. And uh, comment below, which one is your favorite Avenger? I really want to know. Uh, or you can add me at Kakashi6140 at PSN, and we can uh, hang out and do some runs together. I just recently got back to the Avengers uh, because the Wakanda DLC is absolutely awesome. And I think that the Black Panther is one of the most overpowered characters they have made so far. Um, so yeah, we're going to get into it. So as soon as you land here, um, you're going to do one encounter that you have to do. This is the only one you have to do. For some reason, I don't know why I like to jump when I'm running. It seems like I'm running faster. Okay, so this is the encounter. There's three waves of these guys. You just have to protect A, B, and C. Um, you can use your ultimate if you want to because they recharge so fast. It doesn't matter if one like one of the A, B, or one of the you know humans are down or people you're protecting, as long as one of them is alive, you're fine. All right, that's wave one. Almost. And of course, if you're playing solo, like me, um, all this enemy will scale at your level. So it's going to be a lot easier. But if you're playing with some friends and whatnot, um, it's probably going to be a lot faster for you. Because you guys are taking turns on killing the enemies, or taking turns on your DPS, or swapping on your you know, your ultimates or whatever. So you can take on all these guys faster. Like for instance, you can have one guy use his ultimate. At uh, the first pack, have another friend use his ultimate, clear a bunch of people on the second wave, and then so on and so on. And this is, like I said, the only encounter you have to do in this entire um, farm. This is the only one that takes that long. You don't have to do any other encounters. Unless you want to. I mean, if you do, it's just gonna possibly give you a better chance of dropping a better item. I mean, this is really RNG sometimes because um, 
the gears you will get, what you want is the actual artifacts. Um, but that, they don't drop here. You don't farm artifacts here, you just farm gear. So once it's done, and you're on to the part where it says rescuing humans, there's the location right there, you're gonna skip that. You're gonna go ahead and run over here onto this building. There's some things here you can collect. There's oh, There's usually a chest on this building here. If not, then there's a chest right over here. Okay? These now these chests they spawn randomly. You really have to be lucky to get these chests to spawn at those locations. So so that's one run. None of the chests are there, which is fine. And then here's your first vibranium cash. You can take these down with range or like melee, it's up to you, but they usually go down pretty fast with a couple of hits. Like you can just ignore the other enemies because your mob, your um, sorry, your um, NPCs are gonna take care of them. And then we're gonna jump, run down this street right over here. Okay, that's where we were. We ran down here, and there's a second pocket right here. Come on now. Of course. I find it sometimes if you're not near these vibraniums, they don't go off. You can actually kill them, hit them. But when you're near them, then they sometimes turn solid. So just try to like use range if you can. Because it does take us some time for them to pop like that. Okay. Anyways, so you want to check your gear once in a while, see if there's any good. So I have, you know, 100, that's good. So 99, that's good. Uh, Four, that's way really better than what I had, and I have a better one. Okay. So yeah. So there is a guarantee chest right here. So don't forget about this one. And then there is another vibranium here. See, if you just kind of go up to it slowly when they pop up, you can kill them with your range weapon real quick. And they don't usually um, saw it up. Like, look at that one right there. He just stays like... Okay, so there, there. So there's one, two... And three. Okay, so now you come to the almost the ending part. There's some stuff here you can collect. So I ended this pier. If you're lucky, like I said, rotating chests. There's one chest right there. If this one doesn't pop, it's okay because you've probably gotten those ones in the beginning. Like I said, these chests are random for every time you strike a stage. If that, there's also one over here, around this area, but of course this one didn't pop, so it's probably somewhere else. I wouldn't go around hunting for chests just because it's not worth it. It's just gonna take some time off your grind. Um, and then here are the enemies here. Now you don't have to kill them all, or you don't have to kill any of them at all. There's three ways to get inside this door. There's that right there. You can shoot. There's a place right here you can shoot, and there's a place right here you have to step on to get in. It's random every single time you come in here. And there's always two chests when you come in here. Don't even worry about those guys shooting at you, your guys will get rid of them. And then as soon as you open the second chest, you just want to go ahead and go to the Quinjet, and you're out. Like you don't want to finish the mission itself because that would just take too long. Um, so once you're in the Quinjet, you can just go ahead and select a mission and go to the mission table. Same mission right here. It's a seaboard. Just start the mission. Once the mission gets started and you're in the Quinjet, like right here, 
launch the mission and then go ahead and look at all your gear because you know there's a loading time you just want to use up all the loading time you want to so you don't like you know waste your time um so you want to go ahead and delete these things now delete things that you don't need so you can get all the upgrade items and whatnot um so here was what happened is for my for this run i got some pretty good stuff um like upgraded my sword upgraded my arrow upgraded my chest piece upgraded my bow yeah there you go now there's a couple things you want to know okay first of things first if you want to go ahead and dismantle them fast i just find it that if you just hold the dismantle button it would just dismantle them i mean you could go ahead and get them each and just dismantle them more once if you want to see i mean i just hold the button the second thing is if you want to make your farm a little bit faster you're more than welcome to just go ahead and upgrade you know the yellow ones like the uh, legendary quality of the gear upgrade them and then it'll boost up your overall gear level so you can get it but if you are if you're going to be stingy like me and you want to just keep farming so you can get all those upgrading modules because you do need upgrading modules later on to upgrade your gear trust me you're going to need a lot of it um especially if you're going to play all the characters then what you'll do is just don't just dismantle them i mean it's just a lot faster that way but um yeah that's the farm and i hope you guys enjoy please hit the like and subscribe the whole so you know the youtube thing and uh, i'll try to bring more videos of avengers uh, Marvel Avengers for you guys and Ghost of Tsushima and all that other stuff. I'm on Twitch so hit me up over there. You can leave a comment and uh, let me know what you want to see. Thanks a lot. Have a good day guys and enjoy your Avengers game.